World War II veterans here in the Rio Grande Valley are in for a real treat as local community members and businesses are coming together to send them off to Washington. After serving in Iraq with the U.S. Marines, veteran Fred Alvarado wanted to do more to help those that served before him. What I learned in the Marine Corps, they never taught me to stop helping. Help each other, help a brother, sister, help, help a neighbor. That's why Alvarado organized Honor Flight Rio Grande Valley, seeking donations to send World War II veterans and other terminally ill vets to Washington to see their own memorials. And we have one, uh, one major obstacle that we cannot change, we cannot overcome. That's time. World War II vets waited more than 65 years to see a war memorial built in Washington. Today, the youngest World War II vet is now 84 years old, and about 500, 600 of them are dying every day. Many of them will not get to see it. We're hoping, we're hoping to change that. Having served in the Navy from 1943 to 45, Ramona Bett will be taking part in the inaugural flight next month. I'm anxious to see the, the cemetery where all the fallen comrades are laying down right now. And because of them, you know, me, myself, I'm still here, you know. Today, Senator Eddie Lucio III pledged to donate $2,000 to help send others on one last tour. We can thank God that we had, you know, people, uh, soldiers that came back, uh, became what we now know as, as sacred veterans, and they helped shape our, our, our nation.